Now, a nobody like me could reach Neptune because we have to pick up some cargo. A nobody? That's true. You know nobody. We're gonna make you a somebody. I can definitively say that. Welcome to Distant Sun. It is a indie game, first person shooter. Let's try her out, shall we? The voice acting is that seemed hilarious on the store page, so we'll see how it is in the, the actual game. And we'll be able to see if the, the voiceover work is AI or not. Male. We're going to do female. That's what we do. Caucasian, Asian, go Asian, clothes, let's go for a tank top, shoes, flippy floppies, flat sneakers, boots, flippy floppies, let's go with boots, hair, side swept, point tail, straight, Let's go straight. Why not? Well, we're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll keep straight in mind a ponytail. No, we, let's go straight. How about that? Hair color, black, brunette, black. Okay. Let's go brunette. How about that? We're done. That's Alalia. That's who our Alalia is going to be. I wonder if it'll even matter that character creation but yeah this game is 23 gigs wow but here we are choices matter etc use computer what else can we do here the shadow doesn't represent what i uh, selected for this character but we were all wearing the boots and such we do have hair well but yeah let's go and uh use computer incident report so for the cargo leak whatever this is expedited delivery attached to details crew member manifest back 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 all right let's exit because i don't see much we can do in there let's unlock this out of here all right distant sun everyone that's what this game is called distant sun and I think we can like a restroom huh modesty it's a co-ed server system online server room Yeah, here. Who's that? Whoever they are, we're gonna interact. Want some stretches? You look like us. Well, how we would have looked on a character screen. Hey, Haley, how's the cleanup going along? Oh, we actually just see finishing our up my scans here, Captain. Sorry for stopping up the loading. I didn't check the last delivery of industrial fluids properly. I should have seen that it was poorly sealed. I'm just rechecking if there's any damage from any seepage underneath the flooring, sir. Can't let there's much to do anyway on this journey. That's alright. We all make mistakes. It's a learning lesson for you to be more aware of your surroundings. 
So, what are my names? Well, the ground crew did a pretty good job drawing the bottom, and the electrical wiring seems to be well insulated. I already checked this disaster when we left port, and some time has already passed since then. I is think everything is in working order. But they referring to paranoid. That's all. But they referring to that leak that we read about, about what? at the computer. Well, I'm still relatively new to this whole intersolar travel gig, and this is my biggest mistake yet. We were so lucky that the ship didn't short circuit while en route. Imagine getting stranded in the middle of nowhere. How do we get saved if our vessel suddenly imploded? Even worse, we're traveling out in the outer system. There's basically no one out here that can save us if our ship breaks down. Hmm. It's not too bad once you get used to it. The ship is solidly built, so I wouldn't worry about it. Even if there was some kind of incident, the procedures are there to help. Better yet, I already experienced getting spaced. You're saying you've been left stranded in outer space? Ouch. There will be some point in your career where something goes wrong with the ship. Usually a once in a lifetime event. When I got stranded, the ship's engines overheated and broke down. I drifted in space for some time before we were rescued. Mm -mm -mm. For you, sure, an outer system job seems normal, but this is my first time traveling past the Jupiter orbit. It's so desolate here, and the travel time is so much longer than the trips in the inner core. I'm not sure if I'll ever be okay with that. I don't blame you. This is nothing really. We're lucky the planetary alignments to Neptune are optimum. One day, you'll experience an urgent rush order where you could be flying end-to-end -end from this system that could take a year. I'm definitely not looking forward to that. Okay. Uh, we can choose some dialogue. We're working in space. What made you decide to work off planet? I wanted to get the hell away from Earth after my crummy time there. Oh. I was talking with some of my friends who worked as miners in the belt and they highly encouraged me to find an opportunity out here. They told me about the experiences that I could find out there compared to on Earth. What kind of experience? Well, the work out here is tiring and dangerous at times, but uh, getting to see the tranquility of space and its vastness makes up for that. Hundreds of years ago, only a select few of Earth's brightest managed to even land on the moon to expand the full front of humanity. Now, a nobody like me could reach Neptune because we have to pick up some cargo. A nobody? That's true. You know we nobody. Able to experience what the solar system has to offer us right now, unlike those in the past. We're gonna make you a somebody. I can definitively say that working out here is much better than back on Earth. No contest. Experiencing zero G and looking at the planet from orbit is mesmerizing. Well, I'm glad you find outer space so appealing. A lot of us joined the occupation because we wanted to see the system. Same here. Though, don't get me wrong. Working out here is appealing. But you know what's better than that? The wage here is far more than what I could have earned down there. The money? Oh, yeah. Ah, now you talk. The truth in all this. It all comes down to money. Yes. Like most jobs. Yeah, I um I think the voices are AI, but they sound natural enough. Especially the other lady. Thoughts on the career. So Haley, how are you finding your job with us right now? It's definitely better than my prior jobs on Earth, though the probationary period is much longer than I would have liked. However, the benefits far outweigh the negatives, so I'm glad to be up here. So, you're saying there are negatives to working here? Oh my some, gosh, no. Don't take cons. it that way. I'm pretty sure you know how isolating it is to be here. You just can't go to the cinemas anytime now. There's a reason why the hazardous incentive pay makes this job worthwhile. Just messing with you. How long till you're off probation? Probation lasts for two years, and I'm nearing the end of my first year. Hopefully you won't fire me before that. The jobs back on Earth kinda suck. Ow. What did you do before joining us? I was a hawker for some time when I was still in school. Hawker. Then I became a daycare assistant during the what day is that? burger flip at night. There weren't too many jobs for a person like me there. 
School, as in college? No, school as in high school. I didn't go to college. I don't have enough money for that. I went to trade school after quitting my job to get a position out here, though. It worked out at least in that matter. Alright, let's continue on with the story, shall we? that captain by the way if i can uh, ask why do you choose to work out here we're the captain now we're the captain now there are more opportunities out here and things to see than on the ground that's true i guess all of us who chose to come up here have similar mindsets trying to get the hell away from earth or whatever rock you grew up in now we just keep going on huh yeah, but uh, in this game, apparently, some your decisions and such matter. So uh, we'll see how true that is eventually. Childhood. You must have had a tough life on Earth. That's true. I had a rough childhood back on Earth. My family was poor and lived in poverty. There isn't much opportunity down there, and violence was sky high. It's a big contributor as to why I want to work out here. That must have been awful. How come your family didn't sign up to move to Mars? The government was offering incentives to people to colonize Mars. My parents didn't like the idea of living on a hostile planet that required you to wear a full suit just to traverse outside the bubbles or underground. Sure, we would probably live a decent, if spartan, lifestyle compared to Earth, but our ramshackle townhouse in the inner city is far more spacious and safe than the confines of some living quarters there. In addition, mm. the independence movement there is concerning. They and I would rather live on Earth than face that lifestyle. Interesting. Uh, military? Learning about Haley here. Why not join the Navy? It would be a lot faster and guaranteed to get out of Earth that way. I thought about it, but I don't want to join the Navy. From what I've seen on the news, the tension with China over space claims may ignite another war. It only <laughs> happened in the past with the Phobos incident. Luckily, that was just a border skirmish, but it could have been a lot bigger. War with China, however, isn't the worst part for me. The Martian independence movement killed and bombed more government employees and service members than those border skirmishes. I've seen how bad shootouts are back home. But that's nothing compared to what I've heard about the campaign to pass by them. I'd rather not end up dying for some piece of rock. Getting a cushy corporal gig up in space pays far more and is much safer than being an enlisted marine. It's much safer here than with the Navy. The only combat training I need is the company's piracy defense training. Yeah. Head on shoulders. I can strip down a gun and shoot straight, but I think that's just a byproduct of me being an American rather than the training the company gave. <laughs> the life simulations they made us go through to qualify, though, was something I never got to do. Gung ho America. It's holding off a virtual piracy boarding attempt. All right, let's leave. I should go. All righty then. Yeah, talk with our crew. Haley Amherst. But yeah, um, so far so good. It's interesting. Game's like near nine bucks, so it's not too bad. You're not going to be out a lot if you turn out to not enjoy this. But yeah, that was a lot of um, dialogue. And I don't mind that. We are uh, the captain on this ship. So do we have a inventory and such? J. So here's our quest. Shipping bill for our logistics requires the intrepid, intrepid to go out to the port. Talk with the crewmates. We got one more to talk to. Main is that. All right. 
so I guess we go this way for the next one. We have a little navy point here. We go in there. Look around here. There's Haley over there. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Talk with the next one. They're sitting at the control, looks like. Pick up. Oh, we got a weapon. Did you put the weapon away? Three. Okay. All right. So we got a weapon, a sniper. Not bad. Let's talk to this person. Let's get to know you, which is Wong Lei. I pronounced it right. Optimally, nothing to report for this journey, but that spill on the last trip has put us a week behind state one. It's not the end of the world for being late, but looks like we won't be getting our bonuses. Nope. Uh, that's what happens when you let amateurs load insecure cargo on our ship. Unfortunately, Haley didn't catch that improper seal. Eh, she's new. Well, Haley's only been with us for less than a year. It's one of our only mistakes since she's worked with us. Yes, she is a good colleague. Just mentioning that the systems of checks didn't save our bonuses. I do not blame her for being new, but what happened could have left us stranded or dead. Anything else I should know? Captain, I have a question regarding my leave request. What's up with it? I thought it was already approved. It is, but since we're delayed, could you authorize it to be shifted back by a week too? I'll see that gets done. So, what's your plan when you're back on Mars? Well, first, I need to do some paperwork with the ministries over there. My government wants a headcount and health assessment of its available manpool. What's that for? It seems tension between the powers on Earth seem to be boiling over on Mars. The Chinese administration on Mars wants a checkup on their strength there. Okay. You can do that? Yes, they're the government. Usually people that live on Mars have to deal with some extra government BS. This is especially true for citizens of China. Even more for me, since I served in the military. Is that all you're doing for your full month there? Seems like a hassle just to go back for government shenanigans. Oh, heck no. That whole thing should get finished in half a day. I'm mostly going to visit family and take a tour of Valles Marineris with my girlfriend. It has been a long time since I've returned to see them. I thought taking hmm. time off when I needed to go back for these so-called shenanigans would be a good opportunity to spend time with them. Okay. Bosh in life. What can you tell me about life on Mars? It's quite nice compared to my parents or even grandparents' time. I'm a third generation Martian. My grandparents were among the first settlers that moved to Mars permanently. They had to deal with Mars' weak gravity and scarcities everywhere. Nowadays, gravity is fine and we have massive domes so we can walk on the surface without suits. Though nice. most of the infrastructure is still underground, we still have issues with water, hence why most of our jobs are transporting water. So, I take it most of your family still lives on Mars? Yes, most of them at least. A few returned back to Earth after they served their mandatory period, but we've grown accustomed to living on Mars. It's not a bad place to live in. We get subsidized accommodations, jobs with a meaningful purpose, and a lot of government support. That's why so many people from Earth are immigrating to Mars and beyond. What do you mean by meaningful purpose? 
Take Hailey for example. Before working in space, she worked, if I remember correctly, as a street vendor and fast food worker. She yep. left Earth she flipped to burgers. her fortunes here. The people I know back on Mars worked to expand the livability of Mars for us. Whether it's engineers terraforming Mars to be more livable, or the sanitation worker turning waste into water, what we all do is to expand our presence on Mars, to make Mars our home. Okay. Now we could talk about this military service. But do I want to hear about that? Not right now. Well, keep me posted if there's anything new. Will do. Nice. I'm getting an incoming transmission. Patching it through. Oh boy. Hey, Captain. You may want to hear this. This is the Bionet Research Station. Mayday. Electricity and communications are down. We require immediate assistance and evacuation. Can anyone read me? Yes? This is the Intrepid. We read you. Please respond, Pioneer Station. Over. Hello? Is anyone out there? Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Pioneer Station. Pioneer Station. We have a connection with them. They're not yeah. responding. Should we do something about this? Well, it's above my pay grade to decide, but the law requires us to help those in distress. Maybe we shouldn't. It could be a trap, especially out here. Yep. Could be, but most piracy activities here have shifted even further outside. Only thing we'll find here are government outposts or people trying to lay low. Well, I'm not sure. Tell me, what does the regulation say about rendering aid? Only if we're able to do so and without putting ourselves in danger. We would also be compensated for our lost time and effort by the party in danger. Captain, I'm certain this call is genuine. So, let's do the checklist. See if we'll be alright. Let me get there and return to any human settlement with whatever survivors we find. Should be able to. We still have enough fuel and provisions to get us to our destination in a week tops. Why aren't the authorities handling this? Will they yeah. know if we don't render aid? I detected that they were using short range transmissions to request assistance, which is strange because no one at Neptune can hear it from here. If the authorities wanted to investigate, they could get the info due to our black box. Fair enough. Let's run the aid then. Redirect our heading towards Pioneer Station. Aye aye, Captain. Setting a new course. ETA in two hours. Let's go mm -hmm. investigate the station. Alright, if you insist. I doubted it. Is this where combat comes into play? If so, that would be nice. We can showcase that. Right, there's our ship. No music, no sounds. Okay, here we are. This is where we get our weapons. So we have this X16. This bad boy. Glock, we got this. Four. All right, let's pick up. Whoa, look at that. Look at that scope. Not much of a scope. Yeah, that's, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, we can get another weapon here. 
I pick up anything. Okay, that worked too. All right, let's use the Glock. That that anim that that uh the animation is not the best. Hello, doing all right, Haley? Where's our buddy at? He he just stand back there. Let's get into some action. I guess we're on that ship right now. Hitting E. Not doing anything. And I'm trying to interact with this exclamation point here. Not doing much for me either. And whatever it is saying is kind of cut off when I look. E to intercom. intercom. E to interact. I'm pressing E. To intercom. There we go. Hey you, can you hear me? Hey you. Hear you. Who am I talking to? Not to be rude, but we're kind of a full blown emergency right now. Formalities can wait. I need you to restart the nuclear reactors and engineering in your sector. I can't reach it from down here without endangering what's left of my team, because the elevator's a bus and the staircase is too dangerous to crawl through. Wait, why are the elevator's down? Am I in danger? The yeah. security protocol for this research station is in the event of a power failure, quarantine measures unacted, and blah blah I'm not blah. Even blah, sure blah. Who's the talking point to me. is something horrible happened. Can't remember what my employee handbook said, and we don't have time for this. How safe are we here? You won't go down with some sickness if you're wondering. The top level should be relatively safe since security evacuated the executives, but we haven't heard from them since they went up. What should we do with the reactor? It automatically turned off when it realized that everything's not okay down here. You just need to select the normal startup to get it running. All right, we'll try to do what we can. That does After sound that, like me. Can you please come down and meet me down in the labs? You'll need to find a key pass to get down here by the elevators. Definitely would not recommend the staircase. Where would I find those? I reckon you should search the administration's office, security, or the living quarters. Okay. Rec, security, or living quarters. We unlock now. Well, don't just stand there. Bugger off, will you? <laughs> Bugger off. But I need to get in there. Character's just glitching like a mofo. Like we're stuck. We're stuck jumping. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. The game broke. It broke up. So we can't go anywhere back there. This door refuses to unlock. Or lock. I'm assuming this is where we have to go. And if we uh, interact with that the, uh, intercom again, she's going to tell us to bugger off. Well, don't just stand there. Okay, bugger off. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Well, this has been Distant Sun. It started off interesting enough with the uh, conversation pieces and such. But uh, when it comes down to actually interacting with the environment and such, at this point, it's not working for me. All right, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. So the game's not working right now, but uh, it had a decent start. But now it's just not working. I think it needs a little, an update or something. But uh yeah, this has been Distant Sun. We'll check it out again later to see if, if any fixes occur. But uh cause I am interested to see where it goes. But uh the game's like eight bucks, not bad for what you get here. But uh yeah, the, besides this bug or whatever's going on that we can't progress, it's uh it's been something. We'll come back at a later date with more of Distant Sun. Bugger off, and, will you? And that's exactly what we're going to do. Bugger off. Catch you guys later.